to another edition of Just a Girl, and this is the What's on My iPhone tag video type thing. It's not really a tag because nobody really tags you to see it, but it's kind of one of those cool things to see what's on, I guess, other people's iPhones. I like watching them because it gives me new ideas for different apps, especially um, for those who are kind of creative and do a lot of things with their phone. Um, I do quite a bit of my editing, except for my videos. Like I do a lot of my picture editing um, and all that stuff through my phone because my laptop is dead and that's what has my uh, my Photoshop and all that stuff on it. So I definitely use my iPhone a lot. So if you guys want to see what is on my iPhone, just go ahead and stay tuned. Okay, so I have the, uh, I think it's like the iPhone 5S. I think it's not the original iPhone or iPhone 5. It's the one with the... Um, the touch unlock thing. Um, so this is my background. As you can see, I'm filming this at like 10:30 at night. Uh, my background is a picture of Rose Tyler from Doctor Who. It says, "I am the bad wolf. I create myself, take the words, and scatter them in time, my time and space. A message to lead myself here." So that is my background. And then I think this is probably the coolest thing about the new iPhones is, bam! Oh, <laughs> or that. Alright, so I only have two pages on this iPhone. Um, on my iPhone 4, I used to have a ton of pages. I think like one page for every topic of app. Like I had one for photography, one for games, one for health. It was just a jumbled mess. So I took advantage of the uh, little folders and put everything in folders and separated them between pretty much what I use almost daily and um, more like work, um, YouTube related stuff. So we will start with the top row of my icons. The top row of icons is the typical iPhone messaging icon and then we have Facebook, Facebook Messenger and then Twitter. Uh, those are all pretty you know, common apps. Next um, row of apps is my Pages app, Blogger, YouTube and Pinterest. My Pages app, when you open it up, I really like this app. It's a Facebook run app, but I can go ahead and edit all of my fan pages. Like my first one that comes up is my Just a Girl fan page. So I can just edit straight from here things that I need to post, or I, or I can click this little button up at the top, scroll to my Lace and Cupcakes, which is my soaping shop, and then it pulls that up as well, and I can go ahead and edit that. And then there's my blogger app. This is pretty simple. I can go ahead, see what posts I've done. Oops. What posts I've done, and uh, I can also go ahead and I can go ahead and type a blog straight through my phone. YouTube, you know, because who doesn't have YouTube on their phone that, well, records to YouTube. And then there's my Pinterest app. Um, I am actually quite obsessed with Pinterest. I have everything anally organized by um, uh, boards. And then all these boards are in alphabetical order. If you guys want to look me up on Pinterest, I am U.S. Navy Angel. But I just, I love Pinterest. Like, I'm pretty much on here 99% of the time. I thought it was pretty neat when uh, it first came out and I've been obsessed since it came out. Okay, my next row of apps are my music app. Don't really have that much music on here. It's actually just all the stuff I bought through iTunes. My iPhone 4 still has all of my old music so I keep that plugged in my car and just use that as my iPod. And then I have my Audible, a banking um, folder. And then LNC. LNC is uh, Lace and Cupcakes. It is all my soaping stuff. Okay, so Audible has got to be one of my favorite apps on my phone. Um, as you guys hear me talk a lot in my vlogs and um, I think my February favorite video, um, I do like to read and I like to read a lot, but with my hectic schedule I don't really get a chance to sit down and actually read. So Audible has actually helped me catch up on my reading and I only have four books on here. 
Um, right now, I have The Fault in Our Stars and then the three books of the um, Lost Voices trilogy. So I have Lost Voices, Waking Storms, and The Twice Lost. These are excellent um, books if you guys haven't read any of them yet or if you're looking for something to update your Audible or even just, you know, your standard book library. Well, um, I am going to be doing Divergent next unless somebody has another suggestion. If you guys have another suggestion, leave it in the comments below. banking folder I have Navy Federal which is um, our main bank account and then Ally which is for my cars um, my T-Mobile account so I can pay well my phone um, this is actually a um, bookmark from Safari but it is to pay my student loans and then USAA which is what I use for my lace and cupcakes business and then we go to LNC LNC is all of my lace and cupcakes apps that I need. I have my um, soap app, which saves all of my soaping recipes for me. And then Etsy. Um, Etsy's pretty self explanatory. I can um, buy stuff on Etsy or I can or I can, you know, um, post new products. Um, these are pretty much everything I have listed right now. I have so much to do for my page. And then of course PayPal here. PayPal here is um, like pretty much my uh, um, credit card like reader thing except it's well through PayPal. And then my calendar. Um, I do use a Filofax versus more than my calendar. Um, but when I'm at craft shows with Dean and I don't have my file of facts with me, I can just go ahead and put them in my calendar real quick and transfer them later. And then I have two different, uh, email icons. This is the one that came standard on the iPhone. This one is actually linked up to my Just a Girl email, and then this one is linked, no, I'm sorry. This one is linked up to my Lace and Cupcakes email, and then this one is linked up to my Just a Girl and my personal email. And then this is a Safari bookmarked to Nature's Garden. Um, that's one of my suppliers that I use. Last row on the, there we go. This last row on the first page, I have a coupons folder, my utilities, and my game. Big coupon holic. So of course I have to have my coupon apps. I have receipt hog, which is pretty much I take a picture of the receipt and it gives me points for however much, um, I spent on that receipt and those points can be redeemed for gift cards. Uh, Shopkick, um, uh, it's not really self, I mean, if you know what it is, then it's self-explanatory. <laughs> Daily Kick. But with Shopkick, um, I pretty much go ahead and walk into select stores, and it gives me kicks, which are kind of like points. And I collect these points, and then I can redeem them for whatever, like right now I'm saving up for my Sephora gift card. Let's see, like I need... 2,500 kicks for um, for my Sephora gift card. I'm not really sure how much it's for. It doesn't say. But I need 2,500 kicks. I have 1,269. So I'm almost there. And then there's Cartwheel. If you shop at Target, whether you coupon or not, get Cartwheel because every little bit helps. And Cartwheel can be used in conjunction with your Target um, coupons. These are the ones that you print offline, the ones you find in the paper, or your mobile ones, as well as manufacturer's coupons. So that's like triple the savings right there. And then there's Ibotta. Ibotta is pretty much like a cash rebate app. Uh, you buy certain products listed at the stores here, like I can go into groceries, like today. Um, I went to, let's see if it's in here, I went to Walgreens, and I got Belvita. And I know Belvita is in here, unless it's not going to show me because I bought it already. Yeah, because I bought it already, it's not going to show me. Maybe it's at Walmart. No, nope, because I already deemed it. It's not going to show me. But in either case, um, you go ahead and you select 
what store you're shopping at and then the item that you're going to buy and it tells you how to redeem it for cash. Um, like here up at the top it says buy milk and two other rebates and you get 50 cents. Well, I bought milk today so I need to go to Walmart and click on the milk and then you just pretty much click on these little things at the bottom and it tells you, hey look, you earned 25 cents. Click on the other one. Let's see how many children live in my household. Two. Look, another 25 cents. Awesome. Passbook. I don't never really use Passbook. It was standard with the iPhone. And Shopmium. Shopmium is also another cash rebates um, app. And then my and then my utility. So I've got my app store, my settings, my iTunes store, the calculator, forewarn me, uh, my notes, and my Safari. Forewarn me is a local app. Um, that helps me keep up with the weather. So I can go ahead and pull this up and it shows me the weather if it doesn't freeze on me. It froze on me. That or because there's nothing playing. Not sure. So you can watch my radar. Which this doesn't look like there's anything going on either. So if you guys live in Oklahoma that's a good app to have. And then of course my notes, usually with my notes I have um, my hashtags that I use and just some other random notes like I have Starbucks codes that I need to put in tomorrow. Um, there is a list of songs I need to listen to, some quotes, and then this is like my chore chart for my kids. Very bottom, like how you get, uh, most iPhones have that random little bar screen that shows up on every page. I have my phone, my maps, Shazam, and Starbucks. Uh, I used to have OnStar on my car, so I didn't ever have this on my phone. Well, I didn't use it. Now that I don't, um, I use this a lot to give me directions where I need to go. And Shazam, I love Shazam. Shazam, when you're listening to something on the radio, you can push the big old button and it will find the song and log it into the app itself for you to go back and download later. And while well, Starbucks is pretty self-explanatory. And then, oh, huh, I'm sorry, not the very last or else. For, I have my games. I only have one game in here. I have Heyday. Alright, so if we go on to the second, on the top row of my second page, I have my camera, my photos, Instagram, and photo marker. Um, they're all pretty much self-explanatory. Photo marker is an app that allows you to put watermarks on your photos so nobody can steal your photos. Go down we have lens light, camera 360, pick stitch, and over. Lens light um, gives a bunch of different light effects. Uh, camera 360 is a bunch of different filters. Pick stitch is a collage and over. Uh, overgram. Um, it lets you put um, words in your pictures. On his iMovie, eye capture, or no, I think it's just called capture. It's iMovie, capture, and then I have shopping, um, file, and then a health file. iMovie, I can go ahead and click this open. I don't have a Mac, so when I do my vlogs, I vlog them through my... But I can go ahead and create my movie. And it pulls up all of my video files that are on this phone. So we will start with the first clip of the day, and voila. It doesn't do high-tech editing, like I can scroll to the very beginning, and I can go ahead, click it, and I can split it, and now I have two separate frames. And then I can click on the first frame and do what I usually do, add my title. This one is Sunday. the 30th March 2014 and it gives me a little bit of editing on the text so if I just click this little button down at the bottom it brings up some like text effects and this is the one I always use I always use focus and there we go and then I can just scroll to the end of that clip click this little button up at the top and add my next clip the capture 
um, it's done through YouTube so I can upload those videos from my phone directly onto YouTube. Um, you don't have a good internet connection, uploading through here takes a little while. Alright, so in my shopping tab I have Wish, Payless, eBay, Hobby Lobby, Ulta, and Amazon. This app right here, Wish, gets me in so much trouble. It, uh, <laughs> it is a shopping app, duh, but it has a bunch of just cute, cute stuff. And I can go ahead and if I see something I like, like this shirt, I can click save and it'll add it to my list to buy later. I like these boots, I can click save. I like that shirt, I can click save. I can, let's see, self rescue and princess, I can click save. So these are all just really, really cute little, you know, shirts and uh, rings, shoes, and then like I am obsessed with this app, it gets me in so much trouble. Just a bunch of stuff and then if you slide, oh wait, I don't like those. So if you slide your screen to the left, it has your lists on your side, which will show you pretty much where everything went, but they're not, um, they're not really customizable, like it's just I guess pretty much where Wish wants you to put them. And then of course Payless, eBay, Hobby Lobby, Ulta, Amazon. We have my health uh, folder. We've got Pink Pad, which is a period tracker. And then I have two fitness trackers. I have my fitness pal and my diet coach. Um, I did pay for some of the stuff on my diet coach. Um, I think I paid like $2.99 and unlocked the whole app. I really like uh, my diet coach because um, it sets your goal up at the top. Like my goal says I will lose 60 pounds in six months because I want to reward myself with new clothes. If I want to change it, I click it, how many I'm going to lose and how many times and then I can go ahead and change my reason. And then there's also, if I can get back to the home page, a panic button. Click the panic button. I can say what I'm going to do. Start my countdown. And then it logs how many times I actually resisted um, the food craving. My fitness pal, it logs, you know, calorie counting and exercising and all that. But uh, my diet coach does the same thing. So I'm not sure why I still have this one since I paid for that one. And last but not least, uh, on the very bottom row of the second page, it says unused. My unused folder, it's just a bunch of different apps that were on um, my phone that, you know, the standard iPhone apps that you can't get rid of. So there's newsstand, stocks, compass, reminders, weather, the clock, the videos, contacts, voice memos, um, slide it over, you go to the second half of the page, and there's emoji. I actually used emoji, but I didn't really have anywhere to put it. Emoji is that app that um, lets you do those cute little characters that you see in everybody's Instagram. And then there's my Game Center and my FaceTime. I don't think anybody in my family has an iPhone, so we don't really use FaceTime, which is kind of sad.